Hey everybody, it's Mike from Helix Suspension Products. I'm here today to show you just how easy it is to install our steel helper springs on your truck or your van. Specifically today, we're gonna to install our Easy 990 kit on a 2019, 2020 Ford Ranger that's here behind me. Uh, part number on that is a 1914. It's a very easy kit to install. You don't need a master tool kit to do the installation. Very minimal tools are required. Anybody can do this at home in their garage like I'm doing here. You can do it in your driveway. You just need a couple three quarter inch wrenches on this, a socket, a jack, some jack stands, some wheel chocks, and you're good to go. This is our uh, attainable Ranger that we built for SEMA last year. It's a marketing vehicle for us, but in the back, we've added about a thousand pounds. So we've got a rooftop tent that you see up here. We've got uh, Daystar and fuel cans. I've got a full kitchen back there. We've got nine gallons of water, Peloton cases, a Goal Zero Yeti generator. I've got a swing back here that holds bikes. Without the bikes on it, this thing's sagging pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this thing's got a pretty good sag to it. So we're gonna go ahead and measure without the helper springs on, on center line of wheel. We're right about 37 and three quarter inch is what our center of that rear wheel well is. So we're gonna go ahead and get these springs installed and then measure that again. All right, so this is everything that comes with our 1914 part number. You've got two steel helper springs. We've got two uh, blocks that those springs ride on over the factory axle and springs themselves. The U-bolts, the plates that go underneath the U-bolts, nuts, washers, and instructions to tell you how to do it. All right, we've got the wheel off. As you can see, we've got uh, one main spring here, and then it has a secondary, which is a you know a contact overload. Uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna clean off the spring itself, get it ready to put our helper spring and our polyurethane block on. We'll go ahead and start getting this thing installed. All right, first thing to do is take the block, and all we gotta do is set it right over that factory perch. Those U-bolts, it sits in nice and snug. Doesn't have to move, doesn't move at all. And on this spring, you'll notice that it's asymmetrical. So the front portion is the short portion that goes up front. The longer portion goes to the rear. Uh, if you tried to install it backwards, you would know very quickly. So not a big deal. And really, all we do is Lay that right into place, fits snugly and firmly. We now take one of our U-bolts, put it right over the top of the helper, the Helwig helper spring. Take our flat plate, two washers, and two nuts. Put the plate on, put a washer in place. Get one of the nuts started. Now, like I was saying, if you've got a gun, an impact gun or something like that, you can use that to speed this process up. Even by hand, it doesn't take long. Now, you can install these springs without actually removing the wheel or putting jacks underneath it. It just helps, it's easier because you have more clearance and it actually takes the slack or the, the compression off the spring, gives you some more arc. So you can actually just pretty much put these down, finger tight. So with the springs relaxed the, like this, you can finger tighten these down where you have no play on the U-bolt itself. It's nice and tight. That makes sure, that was going to ensure that when you're going down the road or off-road bumpy roads and these springs compress and rebound, you're not going to get any clatter or chatter from here. Uh, you can double check once you get this thing back on the ground and the weight on it. You can actually adjust these for the weight that's there. So what I'll do is the prelims been, been done. 
I'm gonna go ahead, knock out the other side real quick. If you have any questions on what to do on the other side, just stop, go back to the beginning of this section of the video and watch it again, because it's the exact same thing. So I'm gonna go knock that out. I'll be right back. I wanna take a moment while we're here, we'll do this in another video, but you'll see behind me is our end links. You'll see our rear sway bar. This is also an integral key to pick up, especially once you start putting a lot of weight in the back. So tune in for when we do that video. Let's go ahead and get this wheel on and then we'll finish this up. All right, this wheel's torqued, did it in a star pattern. We're gonna go ahead and jack it back up, get these jack stands off, get the weight back on the vehicle, check our height, make sure that our springs are equal, tension on either side from these U-bolts. Once we know we're good, we'll go ahead and double nut them with our nuts, going down the road. Now, now we're looking at the rear portion of the driver's side leaf spring with our helper mounted right here. We have good tension on it. I like to go ahead and just double check and make sure that our nuts are right about even. These are. I'm gonna go ahead and hold that for the front side and see what that tension is up front. We're right about the same front and back. I like that. I like the preload. See the gap here between the factory spring and our helper spring, it has good tension. We'll go ahead and lock that down and we'll get going down the road. All right, the only thing left to do here is take our locking nuts and put them on these U-bolts here to lock those down so they don't rattle loose going down the road. And again, as I'm tightening these, if you have access to an impact gun, an air, ga air gun, electric gun, feel free to use it in these to speed up the process. I'm just trying to show this to the people who have just standard tools, show you how easy it is to install. All right, this one's tight. These aren't going anywhere. I'm gonna button up the other three. We'll go for a test drive. All right, we've got the truck back on the ground. It looks pretty level. We're gonna go ahead and measure again the center line of our wheel to the wheel well arch. And we are now roughly at 39 and a half. So we've gone up nearly two inches in the back. All right, we're all finished up. As you saw in the video, very easy to install, minimal tools. And if you check behind me here, we have proper distance between the wheel and the wheel well now, the back end sitting where it's supposed to. It's a nice stance, it's gonna drive real nice going down the road, so we're gonna go hit the road. We'll see you guys soon. Make sure to check out all of our products at hellwigproducts.com. You can like or follow us on Instagram at hellwig underscore products, and you can follow us on Facebook at hellwigproducts. Products.